guys, it smells like Christmas in my bedroom. Ah, I'm so happy. Pine pillow. Pine and the smell of... Anyway. <laughs> I have a cold. I sound really weird. First of all, I just really feel the need to apologize to you because I have not been on. I have not posted in a couple of weeks. That the animal feels very bad because it has just been Celia. Like, it's only Celia on our channel right now. So... So sorry. Well, I have not been active and I have to make it up to you, so I have prepared a short film that explains the reasons I have just kind of gone MIA. Please enjoy. That is exactly what happened. Honestly, my mom is not Satan. I was sick and I was stressed and just like so many things were going on, so... I'm so... So today, we're talking about fandoms. I'm just making this video for two purposes. When are fandoms good and when are they bad? The disclaimer I'm going to read from the screen. Oh, someone is texting me. I have a life. Caroline and the Carol Monday organization, so just really Caroline, are only stating their opinion, so please don't take offense and also you are really pretty and have a nice day. Alrighty! I find fandoms to be overall really great things. Fandoms are on point. <laughs> Your side is in bed. I'm going to use the One Direction fandom as an example. Don't judge me. I think it's a fair example because it's such a big fandom that like it's broad enough for there to be for it to like resemble many different aspects of it, like the good and another text. This is like a record. <laughs> okay. This is so sad. I just forgot about this video. It's just a sad life. Life of me. <laughs> Shout out to Carrie. Okay. I really, really love this fandom. Anyone who knows me knows. They just know. Like it's just such an obvious thing. I have multiple vlogs about them. Follow me. If you are into One Direction, you know. I did it say I'm also like, I'm pretty into like the ships and just the guys in general. But for me, it's mostly about the music and the Larry, but let's save that for another time because that's going to take like a whole video. <laughs> oh, I see so much good in this fandom. I went to the Where We Are tour this past summer and it just brought out it just brought out the best in the fandom to see like everyone who just really 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 loved that music and they were all just together in one space just like enjoying and partying like also just like you know you could see that like music meant a lot to these people and it wasn't just like a crazy fangirl concert like it was it was more than that and like that was just so cool and that's like my favorite definitely Maybe that is what it's about that right there that's it we can also go into some double standard topics for me one of these would be fan fiction <laughs> fan fiction is so complicated to me because i argue it both ways i have read fan fiction i enjoy fan fiction and i think that since it's literally called fan fiction it's understandable. <laughs> but if there was fan fiction about me, <laughs> would I be uncomfortable? Yes, not gonna lie, I would. I would maybe think it's flattering, but also scary. Uh, it's not actually me, but it's me that they're reading about. Exactly. That would be kind of weird, I love that. Moving on to the other thing I'm on the fence about. Uh, leaking the album before the release. If it's a music fandom, like the One Direction fandom, we can probably all relate. I listen if it's leaked. <laughs> I mean, it's out there waiting. Oh, and I know it is, but I'll admit, I do listen to the leaked music. However, if you leaked it, it's your fault. One of the bad parts of the fandom is this, this. The fans who think that they will marry someone from the fandom. No! Okay, sorry! No! 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 
I get it if you get the feel. The feels are so, 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 so different. I mean the people who literally think that they are going to be, I don't know, the, the future Mrs. Lautner, or whatever the heck is trending on Twitter. <gasps> I go on Tumblr or Twitter, right? Twitter is the worst. And I want just, just one moment, one moment to read my notifications. <laughs> I am already annoyed. Then the hashtag obsessive hipsters, or whatever they switched to after Betty wasn't a thing, come onto my feed and tweet every two seconds about their husband. I wish I could tell you how many times I have seen that joke. I have seen tweets about one sauce and five D fandoms. <laughs> really, just one D and five sauce fandoms acting like they are married to them. Ha! Huh? You were funny. 400 million tweets ago. It's even creepier with the book fandom. Because I'm actually worried if some of these girls really think that they're going to marry like once his first from Divergent, like six or something. Like, sweetheart, he's not real. He's a number. Alright, guys. Please, if you enjoyed this video, go subscribe and leave me a, go subscribe and leave me a suggestion in the comments for next week. And like and all that and stay tuned for Steel Tastic Tuesday tomorrow. Shipping. <laughs> no, the fields. <laughs>